Hello and welcome to another BIT Web Builder training video. In this training video we will be showing you how to start editing and changing your template. A pre-built web template is a full website that has been designed for you. Once you have purchased a pre-built template you are able to modify it and change it as you wish. This training video shows you all the little tricks and tips you need to know about when you are working your template. First up you will see on the screen in front of you a login area for the BIT Web Builder version 2. The web address telling you how to get to this login page and what your username and password is, will be emailed to you. Once you log in you will see that your template is fully set up and ready to go. Most templates are available as soon as cleared funds are received. Payment can either be by bank deposit, PayPal, or payment payment system. Ok let's get started. First of all enter your username and password and then click the submit button. The first page to load is known as the BIT Web Builder main menu. From here you have a number of options that we will come to on other training videos. On the screen in front of you, you will see a big button named Page Builder. Click on this button. You will now see a yellow page on the screen in front of you. This is called the Builder Basic page. This is usually the first screen you will see. It gives you helpful tips on working with elements on your website. Please read these each time so that you are familiar with how to edit your website. Once you're ready to enter your web template simply click on the click here to start button in the top left hand corner. Straight away the main page of your web template will appear. This is known as the home page or index page. The page named index page will always be the first page to load when somebody types in your web address into the address bar within a web browser. As you can see the menu bar along the top has a few options on it already. This will allow you to start modifying your website. I personally recommend that you click the advanced button on the right hand side of the menu bar. This will give you more advanced options when editing your website. When you click the advanced button it adds a quick menu to the left hand side of your website work area. This changes constantly depending on where your mouse clicks or what elements you are working on. It also contains the add-on menu. This contains pre-built features that can be added to your website. All of the add-ons come with a quick setup wizard that asks you the least amount of questions it can. Right let's take a look at your website template. Basically. Anything on this page is editable and movable giving you uninterrupted creativity. First of all we will start with imaging. The BIT Web Builder version 2 has the unique ability to allow you to drag and drop your image anywhere on your website. In conventional web design packages this is not possible. Conventional website design packages are very limited on movement when it comes to setting locations of pictures and text. The first image we are going to look at is the logo image. As you can see a generic logo has been placed on the website. This is just to give you some idea of where you can place your own company logo. Move your mouse over the generic company logo and click your right mouse button. A blue menu has now appeared. This menu gives you a number of options and you can do things like delete or edit the image, bring the image forward, or send the image back. Sending an image backwards and forwards is used as a layering technique. For example, when you add a new image or text to the website, it may end up on top of some pictures or text. So, to simply move it behind the pictures or text that it is blocking, right click on it and click the send backwards option. This will make it move back one layer. Now you are familiar with the element layering let us practice moving an image, we will take the generic logo on this web page. First of all, move your mouse onto the image that you wish to move. Now hold the left mouse button down, and move your mouse. As you can see the image will follow your mouse cursor around as long as you have the left mouse button held down. You are free to move this image anywhere within the website. Once you have the image in place simply release the left mouse button and that will lock the image, which in this case is the generic logo, in place. As this is only a generic logo you will want to remove this and add your own company logo to the website. To do this, Firstly delete the current generic logo by right clicking on it and selecting the delete option. This will remove the generic logo from your website. Now that the generic logo has been deleted you can add your own company logo to the site. To do this, select the image button from the top menu bar. 
you have now entered the image menu. From here you have two options you can either upload your own image or in this case your company logo, or you can select an image from the image library. The image library is made up of images that have previously been uploaded to this web template. This can be useful if you want the same image to appear a number of times within the website it means that you only have to upload the image once. To upload an image from your own computer click on the browse button. This will then show you a file menu from your computer. Once you have found the file you wish to upload simply click on it and select the open button. Once the file menu window has disappeared you can click on the add button located in the dark blue box at the top of the screen. This will now upload your image file to your website. Using this technique saves you time and energy when putting an image on your website. In conventional web design programs you usually have to use an FTP program to upload your image to your site. Using the BIT Web Builder software you no longer need to use an FTP program as the program does it all for you automatically. Now in front of you on the screen you will see your newly uploaded logo. You are now able to move and place the logo anywhere on the website that you wish. So, just as we did last time, move the mouse into the center of the image. Hold your left mouse button down and move the mouse around. As you can see the image is following your mouse cursor. Once you have placed the image or logo in the correct place release the left mouse button and the image will be placed there. If you needed to shrink or grow your image, you can simply move the mouse over your logo. Hold the shift button down on the keyboard, and hold the left mouse button down on your mouse at the same time, then move your mouse backwards and forward slowly. As you can see the image will shrink and grow depending on which way you move your mouse. Once you release both the left mouse button and the shift key on your keyboard the image will stay at that size. You can shrink and grow any image on your website that you wish. Now that we have the logo in place, Let's take a look at some of the other images on this website. Directly underneath the logo you will see we have a nice image of two beds in a hotel room. This image is just placed there to give you inspiration and ideas of where you can put your own pictures. First up we will need to change this photo for a photo of your own hotel. This can be a photo of any part of your hotel and does not necessarily have to be a photo of the rooms. We will need to delete the current image from the website. As with deleting our generic logo you will need to move the mouse onto the image, click the right mouse button and select the delete option from the menu. It will now bring up a little menu asking you to confirm that you wish to remove this image from the website, simply click OK and the image will be removed. Now you are left with a blank area where you can insert your own image. To add your own image, click on the image button on the top toolbar. You will be taken to the image menu from here. Select the Browse button, and you will be shown the file manager on your computer. Simply select the new image you wish to place on the website and click the OK button. Once your file manager window has closed, you will see that you are back at the Upload menu. Simply click on the Add button in the blue box at the top of the window and your new image will be uploaded and placed on your website. As you can see the new image that has been uploaded is not the right size and does not fit into the area given on this template. You have two options either, you can move the template items around to give yourself more room or you can simply shrink the size of the image. To shrink the image, first of all place your mouse cursor in the middle of the image and hold the shift button on your keyboard down and the left mouse button at the same time, now move your mouse from left to right. You will see the image shrink and grow on your website. Once you have the image at the right size simply release the shift button and the left mouse button. Now the image will remain at this size. Now you will need to move the image into place. To do this move your mouse cursor over the top of the image. Hold the left mouse button down and use your mouse to move the image into the right location. Once you have the image in the right place simply release the left mouse button and this is where the image will stay. As you can see so far this is all relatively easy and can be done by anybody with basic mouse and keyboard skills. Now that you understand about adding moving and resizing images we will move on to the text. The training video that covers how to edit and change your text and font within your web template is covered in the second part of this training video. Please select the second part of this training video from the menu below this box. Thank you for watching. 
And as with all our training videos should you have any questions please